Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study the Python implementation of DEC. In the previous video, we studied about what is a DEC and what are the operations that are possible on a DEC. So in this video, we will implement those operations and see how to insert and delete elements from a DEC from the front as well as from the rear. Okay. So as we saw that insertion into a deck can happen either from the front or from the rear. So let's first implement insert front. So this particular function will take two arguments, the deck to which you want to insert the element and the element you want to insert. And this operation can be uh, performed by using the built-in function of Python for lists, which is the insert function. So DEC is also being implemented as a list. Okay, So you can implement uh, any DEC of your choice. You can give it any name and you can define it as an empty list in the very beginning. Okay, Now we are calling the insert function in the insert front fun uh, operation that we are performing and we are inserting an element at the 0th index and this is the element that we want to insert. So this is a simple operation that will insert a new element at the beginning or at the front of the deck. Okay. Now to uh, check whether the deck is empty or not, we are defining the function is empty. This is also a very simple function that uses the built in length function of Python. If the length of the deck is zero, then we'll return true. That means yes, the deck is empty. Otherwise, we will return false and this operation becomes very handy and useful when you are performing any kind of deletion operation or you are retrieving any element from the deck because you have to first check whether there are elements in the deck or not. If the deck is empty, you cannot perform any such operations. Okay. The next is the peak function. The peak function or the get front function uh, as you name it, it is your choice. You can give it any name. I have named it peak. Uh, so it will let you display the element that is present at the beginning of the deck. So it will only display, it will not retrieve or remove the element from the deck. Okay. So what we will do, we will definitely first check whether the uh, deck is empty or not and if this particular uh, function returns false that means the deck is not empty then this condition not of false will become true this will lead to the if condition becoming true and we will return the element that is present at the zeroth index or at the front of the deck okay so we'll display this we'll uh, dis store it in some element and we can print it but we are not deleting it from the deck okay and if the deck is empty we can directly print deck under flow that means uh, no elements are present in the deck the next is the opposite of the peak or the get front function which is the get rear function in this case we are displaying or returning the element that is present at the end of the deck and this can be done either uh, in two ways either you can specify a positive index here which is length of the deck minus one or you can specify a negative index here which is minus one all the other code remains the same the only uh, difference in this code and the peak function would be the element that you are retrieving okay the index of that element okay coming to the next function is the insert rear function now inserting or appending an element to the end of the list can be directly performed using the built-in append function so we call the append function and use uh, the element that was passed as an argument and this is how we insert a new element at the end of the deck all right now after insertion we move to deletion deletion can also be performed in two ways either deleting from the rear that means deleting from the back or deleting from the front so while when we want to delete from the rear we directly use the built-in pop function and since the pop function is not having any argument, it will directly remove the last element of the deck. But 
if we want to remove an element from the front of the deck we can specify an index value here to the pop function which is index 0 that is the first element so in both these cases everything else will remain the same only the element that you are removing will uh, its placement its index will be changed otherwise all the remaining code like checking whether the deck is empty or not that will be the same and obviously you need to check this before deleting an element if the is empty function returns true that means the deck is empty you cannot perform any deletion operation okay and in that case you give you print the message deck underflow the last function is the display deck function or display d function as i have named it here so uh, in this we are trying to display the elements that are present in a deck so if the length of the deck is zero then we'll directly print that the deck is empty otherwise if the length is not zero you can also use the is empty function here so if the uh, deck is not empty you can print the elements of the deck are and you can iterate over the deck use a for loop or a while loop whatever you want retrieve each element from the deck one by one in the loop variable and print that variable okay so in this for loop the i variable will get the value one element of a deck in each iteration and that element will be printed so in this way you can print all the contents of the deck now let's take an example and let's insert and delete few elements from the deck so i'm declaring a deck named deq which is an empty list then i am asking the user to insert an element at the rear to do so i'm using the insert rear function that i just defined then i am getting or retrieving the element that is present at the front since i have only inserted one element so the element at the front and at the back will be the same the only element in the deck so the same element will be returned here but it will not be removed okay then i am inserting another element at the rear and then i am removing two elements from the front of the deck so let's execute all these so in the first um, go when i am asking the user to enter an element i enter five then it is displaying that the element at the beginning of the queue is five because we have executed the get front function okay now it is again asking me to enter the element a new element to insert at the front so i say 4 then uh, 4 and 5 are the elements that are present in the deck now when i call the deletion front uh, function what happens is since we are deleting from the front so the first element that will be uh, deleted will be 5 and the okay so uh, here i if i have to insert at the front i should call the insert front function i'm sorry okay let's start again so let's enter five then again let's enter four so the deck should be four and five because now four is inserted at the front so when i call the deletion front four will be removed and then when i call the deletion front again five will be removed and the deck will be empty okay so that's all for today these were the implementations of operations that can be performed on a deck in python thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam